I originally put the anchor out, it wasn't nearly this windy. And you can see my uh, trip line up there with the fender. And I got that, that much road out, which isn't an incredible amount, but if I was to go up there and try to muscle that in, I could probably do it. But man, it would be a chore. And uh, let's say for some reason I was hurt and I couldn't do it. Or, you know, I had somebody here on board, I was hurt, and they could operate things, and I was pretty much immobile, but I could tell them kind of a technique to do it. I'd posted this once before, but I'm going to put more detail out this time. So what I've done is I've taken my anchor road, the spare anchor road, and I've brought it back to my uh, starboard jib winch, and I've got it set up here. It isn't completely tight. a snatch block to keep it off of the cabin top. Okay, so you can see that the uh, anchor is still being held by the cleat through the bow roller up there. So all I got to do, and I'm not going to show the whole video, the whole process, but just trust me that this works fantastic. Uh, all you gotta do is go back to the cabin, the cockpit, start up the motor, get it running, come up here, undo this, and then all of the, I'll just go ahead and undo it now. So now the snatch block, back to the winch. See that and it holds it just fine, no problems. So all you gotta do is go back there, start up the engine, use the engine to propel the boat forward, pull in the uh, anchor road around the winch, and if I need to use the, the crank, uh, you know I can do that. But typically I can just use the engine to drive up to it, do everything by hand until the very last bit. And then I just crank it up and uh, come up, secure the the anchor, and off we go. So I hope this helps somebody.